Hello, sports and baseball fans alike. It's Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with another game in my 1955 uh, Washington Senators season. And uh, we come into this particular game. This will be a July 10th doubleheader. I'm going to play both games right here against the New York Yankees. And we come into the um the doubleheader on July 10th with a record of 25 and 54, which as it turns out is only one game worse than the actual um, or senators were on that date. Because on that date in real life, the senators were 26 and 53. And they split this doubleheader that I'm about to play so we will see how we end up doing in this. But, uh, yeah, let's get on with the uh, game. You can see there July 10th, we've got um, Tommy Byrne is going to be pitching against Dean Stone in game one. And then in game two, Johnny Cooks is going to be pitching against Chuck Stobbs. So we will um, we'll put it on play day. And then we've got the manual games. I'm going to go down and kill the sound hopefully that works um, so we've got <sighs> Tommy Byrne is going to be the Yankees are going to be controlled by the computer and I am going to take the uh, Senators so uh, without further ado let's get on with the game there you can see that's the game conditions <clears throat> Welcome to the stadium for today's ball game. And here we are in Nationals Park, because again, I'm using the modern day ballparks because they do not provide the uh, current day ballparks with the 1955 season. So there is a line out for the leadoff batter against um, our man Dean Stone. Now Hank Bauer is up for the Yankees, and he gets a ground ball to second. He's going to hit it at Runnels, and Runnels is going to make the play. So there's two down quickly, and that brings up Mickey Mantle. And he's going to ground to the shortstop. So Stone gets us out of the first inning without any damage. And that brings up our leadoff batter, Eddie Yost. He's going to have a single right between the right through the hole between Carey and Hunter and that brings up Pete Runnels Pete Runnels is going to be out line out to the second baseman McDougal and that's going to bring up uh, let's see let me adjust this a little bit there you go it's going to bring up Mickey Vernon Mickey Vernon strikes out, so there's two down. And that brings up Roy Sievers. And he is going to get a fly ball to center field. So Dean Stone going out to pitch, and he'll be facing Yogi Berra. And he's going to pop out, so there's one down here in the top of the second for the Yankees. Remember, we won one of these games in real life, so we'll see. I think it was, in a, actually, I think it was the first game. That's going to be a ground ball. Bill Scourin is grounding out to Yost. And that brings up Elston Howard. And Elston Howard's going to ground back to Stone, hopefully. And he does make the play, and that's it. So we're back at the plate with Carlos Paula up, and he is going to ground out to third for the first out of the second inning for us. Tom Umflit is up, and he's going to ground out to short. Not the better hitting center fielder we have, but he is the better fielding one by far. And then uh, Ed Fitzgerald, our catcher, is flying out. For the third out, we're going to go to the top of the third in this game. Scoreless, and Andy Carey is up for the Yankees. And he doubles. He's going to double right down the left field line off a of stone. 
That brings up Billy Hunter. Billy Hunter's gonna ground out. Brings up Tommy Byrne, the pitcher, and he's gonna fly to center for the second out. And uh, McDougal's up, Gil McDougal, and he is out. He's lining out to Runnels, and that brings us to the bottom of the third in a scoreless game still. Valdivizo is up, and he walks. That brings up Dean Stone. I am, I'm going to let him hit. I just, I don't like, I hate sacrificing, even with pitchers. That brings up Eddie Yost. And Eddie Yost is going to hit it into a ground ball double play to Hunter. So here we go to the top of the fourth. No score still. Hank Bauer up for the Yankees. And he gets a single. Mickey Mantle's up. And Mickey Mantle's going to ground ball C. That's going to move Bauer to second. Which brings up Yogi Berra. And Yogi Bear is going to hit a ground ball to Runnels, moving Bauer to third. And now we have Bauer at third, two down, and scouring up. And he singles in Bauer from third. So he got a clutch hit there, and Elston Howard's up. And he is going to ground ball C plus injury. Let's see if he is. He'll have to sit out seven days for the Yankees. So, uh, that brings Runnels to the plate in the bottom of the fourth. Now we're losing one nothing, And he he flies out. He had a chance for a home run right there, but it's going to be a fly out to Bauer. Mickey Vernon up. And Mickey Vernon singles. That brings up Roy Seavers. Roy Seavers is going to line out. And we got two down real quickly here with only one guy on, and he's at first. Carlos Paula up, and he's going to ground out. So we go to the top of the fifth. Losing one nothing. Andy Carey up for the Yankees. Ground ball C. Stone is pitching well. I mean, he's not pitching poorly at all. It's just we happen to be losing because we can't uh, garner enough offense. Valdivizo can't handle the ball, so there's going to be an infield hit. And uh, Burn is up, and Burn is going to fly out. Luckily, that was almost a double, possibly, but not. We got two away. And McDougald up. I'm going to throw for the runner, try to get him, and we do. So we, we gunned him at second. We go to the bottom of the fifth, still only losing one nothing, and I'm flip up the plate. And he's grounding out. That brings up Fitzgerald, and he's going to ground out to short. And that brings up Valdivizo, and he is going to pop out to shortstop. Now McDougald is up at the plate facing Stone, and we're in the top of the sixth. We're still only losing one nothing, and that's a ground ball to Runnels. Let's see if he can make the play, and he does. Bauer is up. He hits a ground ball back to Stone. Hopefully he can make the play, and he is out. He does make the play, and that brings up Mantle, who hasn't done anything today, and just as I say that, he's going to rip a double down the right field line. Or no, that's, that was a foul ball. Now he's going to rip a double into the gap between Umflet and Seavers. That's the double. And now Bear is up. And he gets a double. It was a double one to five or a fly ball, and he gets the double. So he's going to knock in Mantle, and now the Yankees have a two-run lead. And Scourin is up. And he is going to hit a home run, a two-run homer. And now Stone is just falling apart. The wheels are coming off. Couldn't make it to the gas station. And yes, he is tired. I'm, I have no doubt he's tired. 
And that is going to be a fly ball by Herb Norin. So we're losing 4 nothing, And, uh, yeah. With Dean Stone up, that's the perfect time to go to the pen. So let's go. Uh, or, well, we will end up going to the pen, but right now I need a pinch hitter. And Byrne is a lefty who's a 1R, so I need a right-handed batter. Uh, let's go with Edwards. He gets on base. So... And right now, that's what I need. I need somebody who can get on base. So Bruce Edwards will pinch hit. And he does walk. There he is, the man, the on-base machine. Eddie Yost is up. And he is going to get a single. Love it. I got to say, I love it. I'm going to hold the runners because we need runs. And Runnels is up to get the runs. And he doesn't. It's going to fly out. So that's one down for us, but we have runners at first and second. And uh, Mickey Vernon up, and he strikes out right between two possible hits. And Severs is at the plate, and he is going to hit a ground ball to the first baseman, Scourin. And he makes the play, so we're out of the inning. And that is going to be, you know, we're going to bring in our <clears throat> our um, our long man, and that's Ted Abernathy. He's not very good, but he's a long man, and he and he's greeted by a single with a single by Andy Carey in the top of the seventh. Billy Hunter up. And that's going to be another single. So, yeah, and did I say he wasn't very good? Because uh, I meant it. So Tommy Byrne is up, and they're going to pinch hit for Tommy Byrne with Bob Serve. And he strikes out right between two potential on-base chances. One down and McDougal up. And he is going to line out. He had a single 1-15 to chance there, and instead he's going to line out. So... Ted Abernathy is lucky right here. He almost had to be taken out of the game himself by being tired. That's a ground ball to Runnels. Hopefully he makes the play. And he does. So he keeps the score at 4 nothing, But we uh, still have to come up with four runs. And that's going to be difficult. Now they bring in Tom Morgan to pitch. And Carlos Paul is at the plate. And he's going to fly out. We're in the bottom of the seventh, playing at home against the Yankees. And Tom Umplett is up, and he's going to fly out. And that brings up Fitzgerald. And Fitzgerald is going to get a single. But, I mean, with two outs, I'm not liking our chances. Valdivizo is up, and he's going to get a single. And now that's going to probably bring up Abernathy who unfortunately has to hit because I, you know, I need my long man to keep going a little longer. That's an out. So we don't get any runs, and Abernathy goes back out there to face the main man, Mickey Mantle, who rips a double, his second one of the game, after going starting the game over two. Yogi Bear is up, and that, what is that? That's going to be a pass ball. And that's going to be a single by Barrett that knocks in Mantle. And Scourin is up, and he's going to line out into a double play. And Herb Norin's up, and he strikes out. So we go to the top of the, uh, top of the ninth. The Yankees are batting in the ninth. Oh, wait a minute. No. No, we're ba we're batting in the bottom of the eighth. And that's going to be a ground ball to third base. One away for Yost. Runnels is up. Runnels is going to hit a ground ball to McDougal. And he's out and Vernon's up. 
and Vernon is out. So uh, it's going to be uh, Abernathy back out to the mound in the top of the ninth. We're down by five, and he's walking Andy Carey. Hunter is up, and Hunter is going to get a single. So again, he allows the first two guys on to lead off the inning. There's a bunt by Morgan, and that's going to be a close play, but he's out. Runners move up to second and third. McDougal's up. I'm not even going to bother to bring the infield in. That's going to be a single. Let's see how many runs it scores. Yeah, I bet Abernathy's tired, but unfortunately, I got to preserve this bullpen. So there's there's a base hit. But we'll put runners at the corners. Mantle up, one out, and that's going to be a fly ball B, which will score McDougal from third and make it eight nothing. And Yogi Bear is up, and he strikes out. So we got to have eight runs right here. I don't like our chances. I got to be honest with you. Roy Severs is up, but he hits a home run. So he, now we only need seven runs. Now we're in a lot better shape. We only need seven. Runs. Up steps Carlos Paula, and he's going to double. He's going to double in the gap. He's going shopping at the gap between Nor Norin and uh, Mantle. Umflood is up at the plate, and he's going to hit a fly ball to right. That's Bauer, though, and he's a one. So I don't like the idea that we're going to get something out of that. And we don't. Fitzgerald's up. He's going to fly out to center. And there's going to be two down with Paula at second. And Bell DeVizo up. And he is going to hit a single double asterisk. Which is going to score Paula. Going back to the wall, Mantle retrieving it. And no, he gets a, he gets a trip. And Morgan's tired. Let's see if they bring him out. And they do. They bring in Bob Grimm. And I guess I might as well go get a pinch hitter. Or Abernathy. And that will be Johnny Grove. And he flies out to end the game. And we lose the game, the first game of the doubleheader to the Yankees by the score of 8-2. to two. And there you can see the box score. Take a look at that. Stone went six. He gave up six hits, walked nobody, and gave up four earned runs. And then Abernathy came on and threw a little gasoline on the fire, went three, gave up seven hits, four earned runs, and walked one. And we lose the game. So that brings us to the next game of the doubleheader. And we will play that. And we have Chuck Stobbs. Chucky Stobbs going up against Johnny Cooks. And that is the uh, statistics for the day. Welcome to the stadium for today's ball game. And there he is, Chuck Stobbs with those nice glasses. With McDougal's up and McDougal's doubling right down the right field line. So, I, I think uh, Stobbs needed to grab some different glasses. But anyway, Bauer is up. Bauer is going to hit a ground ball second base C that's going to move McDougal over to third. Mantle is up with uh, one away. I'm just going to pitch to him. It's too early to be bringing infield in. Ground ball B. And he, he holds anyway, and so Bud Bear is up, and he's going to hit a single and knock him in anyhow with two down. And uh, Scourin is up, and Scourin is going to hit a single, and now they've got runners at first and second with Bob Serve at the plate. And Bob Serve is out. 
So Stobbs does give up a run in the first inning, and we're losing one nothing right off the bat, facing Kooks with Eddie Yost. And Eddie Yost hitting a double. Gotta love that, right in the gap between serve and mantle. And Oravets is up to plate, and he's going to hit a single that's going to knock in Yost. Or it should, or it could. Um, but it's not. Actually, it is. No, it is. I'm going to send him. I'm going to send him. I'm going to send the trailing runner. I'm playing a little aggressive ball here, and it was not a good idea. He was thrown out, so he doesn't score. We got one down and a runner at second, and that's Pete Runnels at the plate. I should have held him up. Now I'm just going to hold the runner, and then Vernon's up at the plate, and Vernon's out. So we uh, don't score a run, and you can blame that one squarely on me. I'll take the blame for that. And then there's another double. Andy Carey faces uh, Stubbs and greets him with another double into the gap. So Stobbs is being dragged all over the field, and I'm making bad decisions. So we got to pop out to the shortstop, which is Billy Hunter. Kooks is up with one down, and he strikes out. And that brings up McDougal. And McDougal pops out. So he gets out after allowing the leadoff double in the second. He gets the next three guys out. We go to the bottom of the second with Roy Seavers at the plate, and he walks. That brings up Carlos Paula. Carlos Paula is going to hit into an immediate double play and not even give the impression that we're going to score a run here. And Valdiviso is up, and he flies out. They weren't even going to string me along on that one. So we go to the top of the third, Stobbs out to the mound again, facing Bauer. Again, he's not pitching poorly, just like Dean Stone wasn't last game when he was losing by the score of 1-0. Mickey Mantle is up, and he's going to hit a double. A uh, double again, I believe. I think this is a say. He, this dude has been he's doubling all over the field in this series. Bear is up. Barra hits a ground ball to first. And that should move the runner over. Mantle. And it does. Mantle's at third with two down. And Scourin is up and he singles him home. Oh, stops. All right. So serve is up. And there's going to be a pass ball. It's going to allow Scourin to go to second and serve batting now and striking out. So Stobbs gets us out of the inning again. But this time he gives up another run. We got Bruce Edwards up at the plate, the walking man, and he walks. This guy, I got to check his on base percentage. Um, Chuck Stobbs, I'm just going to let him bat. Hopefully we get a pitcher. Well, we did get the pitcher's card, but we got a strikeout. Yost, one for one on the day with a double, and he's going to be out. No, he's going to have a single. He'll have a single. I'm going to hold the runners this time. Oravets up at the plate, and he's going to hit a single. Good thing I did that. Now I am going to hold the runners. And we got the bases loaded with one down and Runnels up at the plate. And he walks and forces in a run, and that makes the score 2-1. With Mickey Vernon up at the plate, and he's going to hit a ground ball B. Now let's see what happens there. Nothing. They get the runner, the runner at the plate. They cut him down, and Seavers is up batting. And that's going to be a catcher card X. And uh, he is out. So we are now, we're still losing, but now we're only losing 2-1 instead of 2 nothing. That's going to be a pop-out for Carey. Now Stobbs facing Billy Hunter with one down, and he singles. This guy, he's been getting hits too, hasn't he? No, he's 0 for 1 this game. Well, he's 1 for 2 now. Kook's up. And he's going to bunt the ball. And there's an out. We got at least one out. And we got it at second, too, which is good. So now McDougal's up with two down and a runner at first. And that's going to be a fly ball. 
So we get out of the inning. Stobbs gets us out of the inning, and he's got us in a good game right here. We just got to get some runs. Carlos Paula up and grounding out. Just missing a home run chance. Valdivizo is up, and he's going to hit a single. That brings up Bruce Edwards. Bruce Edwards is hitting the ground ball to third, carries a one, so that's not good. And that is a double play for the Yankees. And we go to the top of the fifth for the Yankees batting, and uh, they get a single out of Hank Bauer to greet Stobbs. Mickey Mantle up, and Mickey Mantle hits a single. And runners are at the corners. One out. I'm going to keep the infield back. Hopefully, Runnels can make this into a double play, but I doubt it. And he... What happened? He cut, well, I guess he cut off the run at the plate. Maybe they did pull the infield in. Oh, they did. They're, they, they did it automatically. All right, well, I guess I'm happy they did that. Line out to third. That's going to be two down. And serve is up. And now, see, that really didn't matter because serve is going to hit a three-run jack. Gone. And, yeah, Stobbs is tired, tired, yada, yada, yada. There's two down. And he's allowing a single to Andy Carey. And then uh, Billy Hunter is up. And he was picked off. And Stobbs is at the plate, but you know what? I don't know if I'm going to... I, I think I'm going to send his tired butt back out there. And not only that, he got a single. Yost is up. Catcher card X. Hopefully it's a fastball. It is. Now let's see if he can get another hit. It would be three for three. Well, he, he walked. So we got two on with no outs. And Oravets up. And Oravets is going to hit a ground ball B. That's going to put runners at the corners with one away. Runnels is up, and Runnels is going to hit a fly ball center field. Maybe it scores Stobbs, although we'll see. Uh, no, we're going to hold the runners. It's he's a run one to ten with a negative four arm out there. Not what I want to see. And then Vernon strikes out. I didn't want to see that either. So we're going to let Stobbs keep pitching at least through this inning because that's just how it's going to be. And he strikes out Hunter. He's tired. He's out there. He's gassed. But he's pitching. He's dealing. They're going to pinch hit. I don't know why they're doing that, but you know what? Let them do what they want. And he, there's a home run. Pinch hit home run by Eddie Robinson. And that had nothing to do with Stobbs being tired. I mean, in real life, maybe it would have, but it was just on the card. It wasn't what the card said. All right, so there's a line out by McDougald. He's got two down. And that brings up Hank Bauer. And Hank Bauer is going to hit a double. And that brings up Mantle. He's two for three on the day, and he's going to be three for four with a single and probably another RBI. I am not going to do that. I'm going to stop. So it looks like we're definitely in line to lose both of these games, even though in real life, and there's going to be a, a double by uh, Barra, even though in real life we did split this two-game set, I am not going to get the runner. Again, we've got to let Stobbs work his way at least out of this inning. And now it's 8-1, to one and Seavers is at the plate. He grounds out here in the bottom of the, uh, leading off the bottom of the sixth. That brings up Carlos Paula. And he is going to hit a fly ball to left. That's serve, and he's a three. And he, uh, that's an out. And Valdivizo is up, and he is going to get a base hit. And 
Edwards is at the plate, and Edwards walks. Stobbs up. I don't know why I let him hit, but of course, does it really matter? Uh, yeah, I'm going to let him pitch the seventh. He's, and he strikes out serve. Serve has got to be going back to the dugout and saying, my God, this guy is dogged, and I struck out. And then Andy Carey grounds out. Maybe I need Stobbs to be tired more often. Billy Hunter is at the plate, and he's going to fly out. So Stobbs, despite being dog, dog tired here, gets out of that inning. And that brings up Eddie Yost for us. So no more damage was done last inning, although Stobbs, even though Stobbs was really, really tired. Oravets is up at the plate, and he's going to fly out. And that brings up Runnels. And Runnels strikes out. Now I will replace Sto um, Stobbs. And we will bring in... Who are we going to bring in? We're going to bring in Spec Shea. See what I mean? It's really, I don't have a very deep bullpen out here, so. Spec Shea is in to pitch, and he gets a fly ball out of Bob Grimm. McDougal's up. McDougal's going to rip a single. That brings up Hank Bauer. Hank Bauer is going to lie out. And up steps Mickey Mantle, three for four today, and striking out right here to Spec Shea. So we go to the bottom of the eighth. Vernon up at the plate. And Vernon hitting a home run. Is that a home run? Yes, looks like it's going to be a jack. And there it is. So we got another run. It's 8-2. to two. Brings up Roy Seavers. Roy Seavers is walking. Paul is up. And he strikes out. So that's the first out of the inning for us. Brings up Valdivizo. Valdivizo is going to single. Right between first and second. Edwards is up. The on base machine, and he continues. That brings up Spec Shea. You almost really want to take Spec Shea out right here. All right, let's, let's see what we can do. Um, we got a righty out there. We want a left-handed hitter. Of course, that would be McDermott, our resident um, left-handed pinch hitter. And he singles. All right, all right. You know, uh, negative forearm, no. Let's hold the runners. Eddie O stop. And he's going to hit a double. That's going to knock in two runs. They really need to consider taking Grimm out, like, soon. I mean, it's 8-5 right now, and Oravets at the plate. And, yes, they're gonna, I think they're going to come get Grimm. And they do, and they bring in Jim Costanza. Oravets at the plate, and he singles. And I'm going to hold the runners. I've learned my lesson from that. It's 8-6, and Runnels up at the plate, and he's going to hit into a double play. Are you kidding me? All right. So we... Let's see. I'd really like to see McDermott come up again. So Runnels is the second baseman, so why don't we... 
you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put McDermott at second, even though that's probably a terrible idea. And then I am going to put the pitcher in the place of Runnels, and that's going to be Shikales. And he's going to be the pitcher. And now we're going to see if we can maybe pull this one out. There is a ground ball to first base by Yogi Berra to lead off the top of the ninth. Bill Scourin is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball to third. Thank God it wasn't second. And he gets him, and Bob Serve is up at the plate, and he's hit by pitch. That brings up Andy Carey. And Andy Carey strikes out. So, Chikaley's got the job done, even though we had a lawn gnome over at second. And Mickey Vernon's up to plate, and he walks. We're down by two. We're just down by two because of that big eighth that we had. And Roy Severs is at the plate, and he's going to hit into a double play. That's probably going to do it, but we'll see. We'll see. Carlos Pauly think he could go deep, but he doesn't. He's going to ground out, and we lose this one 8-6, even though I did my very best managerial job, except for that mistake that I made in the first inning on the base running. So we lose 8-6. Um, there you go. You can look at the, the, uh, the box score. But, yeah, that drops us to 25 and 56. Stobbs is 0-12 on the year. Not having a really good year. Not at all. He's 0-12 with a 7.06 earned run average. And I am going to, I'm just out of curiosity, I want to take a look at what um, the main man, um, Bruce Edwards. He's hitting 160, but he has a 378 on base percentage. You got to love that. I mean, I just had to see that. But anyway, that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.